What's up everyone? Welcome to the show. Please like today's episode and subscribe for more coverage on all your WWE news. Article is in the description for you below. It's from dailywrestlingnews.com. Links in the description for you below. Without further ado, guys, please don't forget, forget follow me on Twitter at the Talk Show 101 and also like me on Facebook. The links will be in the description for you below. Go tweet me, go follow me. I'm always on Twitter all the time. So that's where you want to get in touch with me. That's where you want to get in contact with me. You know, we could talk about wrestling. Go follow me and go tweet me as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the WWE news. <coughs> Dana, excuse me, Dana Brooke is getting a big push, ladies and gentlemen. I've heard that the push for Dana Brooke is expected to continue as WWE officials are very much behind her. New main roster writer Ryan Word is said to be a big supporter of Dana's as well. Also, I like Dana Brooke. You know, a lot of people out there supporting work complaining about Emma and Dana Brooke, how they debuted on the main roster. People were complaining about that, that it sucks and it's not going to work. Why are they doing this? They shouldn't be doing this. They shouldn't be doing that. This was pointless. Ladies and gentlemen, I was so happy to see these girls debut on the main roster because, one, they were down at NXT. Dana Brooke was down at NXT. I love Dana Brooke, okay? She was good down at NXT, but I got to tell you, and I got to be honest with you guys, I think she should have stayed down in NXT before de instead of debuting on the main roster. I don't have a problem with her de debuting on the main roster, her and Emma. I have no problem with it. I like it. I was pumped. I'm happy that they're doing this. It's a good idea. But, you know, going back down to NXT, I feel, in my opinion, that this girl could have went so far in NXT. She could have been a WWE NXT Women's Champion. Okay? Because she's a good performer. She's good in the ring. She's muscular. She's tough. She has it. I'm not liking her because she's muscular. That's not it, okay? That's not why I would push her because she's big and she's muscular and she's tough. It's not what I look into it. You know, I would keep her down to NXT so she can get that NXT push, you know, as the women's champion. If you would ask her, if you would a bunch of other women down there and be that women's champion, okay? And then bring her up to the main roster. That way she's done everything on NXT, and now you can bring them up to the main roster. And, you know, Emma and Dana Brooke, man, they work. They collide together. They're both heels. It worked together. They were a good team, and I didn't want them to separate. But now due to Emma, Emma's out now. So now what are they going to do with Dana Brooke now? Dana Brooke's with Charlotte. And in my opinion, I don't like her with Charlotte. You know, but I, but I will tell you, to be honest with you, I'd rather have Dana Brooke be what Alexa Bliss, in my opinion. Because, one, Alexa Bliss is good, doing good down at NXT. She's a good performer. She's good in the ring. She's good on the mic. And I'm happy that the, she did separate with her, with her tag with the team that she was with. You know, Blake and Murphy. You know, I think it was a good idea to separate Alexa Bliss. So, I think, you know... She does deserve a push, but I wouldn't rush Dana's Brooke push already. You know, she just came to the main roster. You don't want to push Dana Brooke so quick. You don't want to push her really quick, okay? I know how WWE is. You guys know, and I know Vince is gonna. Vince is doing this. Vince is the one who likes to push the big people. You know, girl or not, if you're big and you're muscular, Vince McMahon likes likes them. He likes the big muscular people. You know. So I don't want WWE to go and rush this girl just like that because she's muscular and she's strong. You know, I don't want WWE to think that. You know, just let her go off. Take your time with her. Don't rush this woman. You know, she could be a good super, a good woman in the future of WWE on the main roster if you book her right, if you use her right. You know, I don't want WWE to fail this woman. You know, 
I would love to see Dana Brooke and Sasha Banks. That would be a cool, f cool feud. Uh, but I'm happy, you know, Eva Marie and um, Dana Brooke are not going to happen as a team. You know, but when Emma comes back, man, I wonder how, if there's going to be a feud between Emma and Dana Brooke. You know, I could see a few between those two. And I think it's going to work out right if it does happen. If they do it and it works out right, they can do it if they book it right first off, though. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think, you know, WWE giving, you know, Dana Brooke a push? you think it's too early for them to do that? And do you like her with Charlotte? You know, I don't. I don't like Dana Brooke with Charlotte, you know. But it does make sense because the bolt heels... And I couldn't stand that because Emma's out, so they got nothing for Dana Brooke. So, what do you guys think about her getting a push? Do you agree with it or do you disagree with it? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Until then, I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.